Look any further, Jim, than his speech at the UN a couple of weeks ago where he talked about a, a nationalistic sovereignty. Basically, we're not going to tell you how to live. You don't get involved in, in what we're doing and, that's, and everything's going to be fine. Missing the point that United States leadership on the global stage does matter and we should be holding other governments accountable for these kinds of acts so that we can promote security and stability around the world. Molly, uh, looking overall at, at the president and the politics of this, right, ahead of the midterms, um, is this helpful to other Republican candidates, especially in some of those most you know, dangerous districts for them, to hear him talking like this, to hear him saying, we're going to get to the bottom of it, but you know, all I can do is tell you what the Saudi king said to me, or basically brushing off the acts of Vladimir Putin or Kim Jong-un? You know, it depends on the Republican, obviously. You've got different Republicans running in very different environments. But in those Republicans that are in marginal districts, swing districts, swing states, purple states, uh, they know that this election is, first and foremost, a referendum on the president. Even though he's not on the ballot, even though he has very little to do with some of these contests, the more he's in the frame, the more he reminds people how much they mm -hmm. either like or don't like him. And given that the president is unpopular overall, particularly in these swing areas, the more he's in the frame, the more he's stirring up controversy, the more he's sort of hogging the spotlight, uh, the more I think those Republicans sort of cringe and wish he would uh, find something else to do for a few weeks. Molly Ball, Admiral Kirby, thanks very much. Thank you. Still ahead, Turkish and Saudi officials meeting as the investigation into the